Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to enable outgoing internet connectivity in a private subnet EC2 instance using a NAT gateway. Let's start by navigating to the VPC service, then click on your VPCs. By default, you should only see one VPC. Click on subnets and you should see one public subnet for each availability zone in this region. I'm going to create a private subnet with the next available CIDR block of 172.31.96 with a subnet mask of 20. Hit the Create Subnet button, then select the default VPC. Enter the CIDR block that we just discussed, then give your subnet a name. I'm going to call it my private subnet one. Let's select the US East 1A availability zone, then click on create subnet. In the left menu, click on route tables, then click on create route table button. Give your route table a name, select the default VPC, then click on create route table. Go to the subnet associations tab, then click on the edit button. Select my private subnet one, then hit save. At the moment, we only have one local available route in this route table. In the left menu, click on NAT gateways, then click on create NAT gateway button. Give your NAT gateway a name and select the US East 1A public subnet from the dropdown. Leave the connectivity type to public, then allocate an elastic IP and hit create. Now let's go back to our route table, then click on edit routes. Push the add route button, then enter all zeros as the destination. For target, select the NAT gateway instance that we just created, then hit save. At this point, we have our NAT gateway instance set up in our public subnet. Next, we're going to create two EC2 instances, one in the public subnet and the other one in the private subnet. Navigate to the EC2 service dashboard, then click on instances. Hit the launch instances button, then give your instance a name. Select a key pair, then edit the network settings. From the subnet dropdown, select the My Private Subnet 1, then hit Launch. Next, we're going to create an EC2 instance in our public subnet. Give your EC2 instance a name, select a key pair, then edit the network settings. From the subnet dropdown, this time, select the US East 1A public subnet, then hit Launch. Give it a few minutes, and you should see both the instances in the running state. Click on the public subnet EC2 instance, then hit connect. Copy the SSH command and paste it in your terminal. You can confirm that this instance has internet access by running the curl command followed by a URL. Next, let's grab the private IP address from the private subnet EC2 instance. Use the ssh-add command to add the key pair to the authentication agent. Now you can use ssh with hyphen a flag to enable agent forwarding and log into the public subnet EC2 instance. From here, you can jump to the private subnet EC2 instance by running the regular ssh command. Use the curl command to confirm that our private subnet EC2 instance as outgoing internet connection. This is because we attached a NAT gateway route in the route table associated with the private subnet. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.